the Slip Slip Sis podcast. I'm Che. I'm Gabs. This is episode seven. We're gonna go with seven. Today is November 27th, 2021. This is our YouTube channel where we share about our knitting, sometimes other things that are going on, but mostly the knitting. And I think we're gonna get started. We're in my sister's home again today. We were celebrating Thanksgiving together, so we got to do this as one, but this may be our last podcast for a few minutes, and we'll talk about that in chatter. So, did I miss anything? Follow us on Instagram That's or right. subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like our video. I don't know all those things that yes, social media we're influencers on Instagram, say. Instagram, we're slip.slip.sis, and on Ravelry, we're just slip, slip, sis. But everything will be down below in case we've forgotten a million things. We're also likely to forget something to put down below, so let us know if you have a question that we have not addressed. All right, number one. So we have combined our design slash finished objects into one situation. So our first finished object, Chaley will Vanna White it for me. This is the Steakling sweater. We shared it on the podcast when I was still knitting it, but the pattern is now available on Ribbler and Ravelry. It's a baby cardigan that is steaked, so it's knit in the round, and then you cut you cut it open, right? And then your steaks are, uh, I did the crochet method on this one, um, and then your steaks are sewn down. So this is the one that I made for my almost two-year-old. Her birthday is in December. And I also made a smaller one for the her sister that's coming soon in January. But Steakling is now available on Ravelry and Ribbler. And if we're very speedy, you may actually get the free pattern for opening weekend. It's not likely. If we're speedy, but we probably aren't. <laughs> so, not likely. sorry about it. It's still only $3 on Ravelry, Ravelry and, and Ribbler. <laughs> nice. Okay, your next design. So, this pattern is another new design. Also, it's perfect for Advent for scrap busting. This is called the Just My Stripe Socks. It's currently in testing, but it, the pattern will release on Ravelry and Ribbler on December 3rd. And the pattern is a free pattern, so it will be free forever. You don't have to scramble. It's a. Um, we also have a YouTube design series on me designing these patterns, how they kind of, how they worked, how I put it all together. I'm a teacher for my day job. Um, so I thought it would be interesting to share how the process of designing was because when we got started designing we didn't really have any kind of frame of reference. We were just winging it. This is the second pair of Just My Stripe that I knit. It's when I did like an opposite, like a planned mismatch, mix match, miss, miss, miss. mismatched socks. This is all out of my advent calendar which is um, Hana Made It from last year 2020 so don't worry I didn't just spoil her entire advent calendar um so it was done with the advent socks these are from Aunt Jenny Makes on Etsy we're obsessed with her we've gotten so many things we just discovered her a month ago October in October because Zandy of Polar Bear Yarns shared that she was having a sale and then Chaley and I went down the rabbit hole and purchased yes. like four orders from her already so that's available on December 3rd. Chaley came up with the name, which I still don't understand. Well, usually I get to come up with the names as my contribution to Slip Slip Sis. And she was like, oh, what should we name it? And I was like, oh, just my stripe. Like, you're just my type. But she was like, oh, it's like, you're just my style. Just my style. I'm like, no, wrong. Absolutely not. I didn't I don't understand. Know, but it's it, written in the little description <laughs> on the pattern, so I feel like we've kind of committed. Luckily, it's a Google Doc, so I might just go edit her little, her little intro snippet be like, what were you thinking? I don't know. I didn't really understand. She told me this. She told me that Chaley usually gets to pick the names. Mm -hmm. She's much better at picking the names. Love a good pun. Love so, a good pun. that's coming out on December 3rd for free. It's perfect for... Um, Advent countdown calendars, scrappy socks, all those things. Our testers have done some really cute ones. Yeah. Like, all the combos yeah. have been really cute. It's a good stash buster. I don't know. I've already knit Speedy two of them. Knit. It's super fast. I think I knit it in, like, a week or something. Yeah. All right, yours. All right. So this is actually another design of ours from a while ago, but these are my only FO for this month. 
and these are socks for our uncle for Christmas and the pattern is our pattern which is Twisted Sister and on Ravelry and Ribbler. <laughs> so these I knit, can you hold this? Thank you. For our uncle for Christmas, you can see it's, oh, move my face out of it. I think you can kind of see it's a textured pattern just on the front of the sock. It's got a little bit of cabling, a little bit of ribbing. Um, and the yarn is Ursa Minor from Lavender Loon Yarn Co. So he will get these in December. So I can now wrap them up because I finished these and now I'm like kind of on it with my Christmas gift knitting. I only have one pair of socks left that I have to do for Christmas, so. Woohoo! She scrambled to finish them last night. She yes. gave herself, what do you call it, knit Knitter's neck. neck. When I'm like knitting it very late at night <laughs> so I can finish all my stuff. But I got it, we're good. I give myself knitter's shoulder when oh, I like yes. knit too. Like, I like, I'm, fat. I'm speedily trying to finish something. Right, right. Would you like to go first with your I whips? think I shall. I think one of my last ones I showed when we podcast was when I was flying up here for the baby shower and I called them my LAX socks. I was knitting them at the airport. I finished one. And so it's all, oh, I gotta get up again. Okay, oh, you hold, put it on the belly. This is Tinsel Town. From Destination Yarn, those are my light bulbs to mark how many I've done. And I just did a heel flap and gusset. I think it's 15 rows of Knit 2, Pearl 2 ribbing. I have one done and the other one not cast on at all. Because <laughs> I got distracted with Christmas knitting. So this will happen at some point. Yeah. You can go. Oh, so I have... A very creaky chair apparently <laughs> um so i'm working on a christmas sweater which is the about the amount of christmas that i do um i'm not a big christmas that is how we coordinated though this is the extent of christmas that gabs can do a baseball tee that she already owned not purchased for christmas um but i am knitting a christmas sweater it is a kind of like a combo sweater of i mean i what is this spellman this is spell the fit, Spellman's shape, the shape and fit of Spellman, and then I did a different cable pattern. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now I gotta zoom. I got it. I got oh, it. Chaley's on it. So it made me think of like Christmas ornaments or like Christmas baubles. For so that's the sleeve detail. It's out of Hypnotic Yarns. Oh shoot, a time to grow colorway that I think Chaley and I talked about before that yeah, we bought it at a auction. So this is hopefully going to be my Christmas sweater. I am alternating skeins like a good little knitter and it's actually making a really like solid cohesive color palette. And my mother-in-law loves it. She's here for Thanksgiving and she told me how great the color is like four times. So I unfortunately don't have enough to make her anything else out of it too because I only have two skeins. So like always, I'll play yarn chicken with it and <laughs> see how it goes. Consistency. I forgot to say, this is my Kim Possible bag from Fate's Thread that had my LAX socks. And I also have another Fate's Thread bag with my takeout boxes on it for my other sock. And this is not quite a half finished object because I have another it's heel. It's a and so this is my spring carnival socks. I think this was oh my God, May. Dude. I'm on it. I'm really, <laughs> I got it together. Uh, <laughs> this is Sweet Pea. Um, I think it was the May carnival. And then I'm going to do an afterthought heel, which you can see the light bulb stitches for. And I did a little stripey around the toe for a little thing. I think next time if I did it again, I would do a little striping around the top, but I didn't quite think of that until I got to the toe. So that's okay. And the contrast is in my baggie. It's from my row one yarn subscription. And I've lost the little taggy. Hold on. Hold on. Can you hold my sock. Can you hold this yarn. Okay. You just, it's fine. Oh, I got it. I got it. like two things in that bag and somehow I got it. lost. It's 29 Bridges Pier, as in Pier 1 Imports. Like Pier, like water. Yes. Yes. And But then I have a backup in case, oh, oh, 
We got a rogue DPN stuff. I have a backup in case I run out, which is also 29 bridges, but called Barry. Yeah. And I have started the second one just a wee bit. Got a bit of cuff going on. So I'm, I'm on it. I'm on it. It's fine. It's fine. I have, again, one more pair of socks for a Christmas gift, which I didn't bring. And I have a hair in my eyeball. Um, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I'm working on another design. Um, this is my, it's sort of a, like a little collection that I'm making for myself and we'll end up publishing the pattern, but really just cause I love Anne of Green Gables. This is carrots because, um, now I got Anne of Green Gables geek okay, out. Okay, take your time. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's Settle uh, in folks. <laughs> Kaylee's gonna fall asleep. Um, but really, it's from the first book, Anne of Green Gables, and it's a reference to when she meets um, Gilbert Bly for the first time. I have goals to go to Prince Edward Island, and I want to wear Anne of Green Gables theme socks when I'm in Prince Edward Island, so I'm designing them. Um, I saw there were lots of nice patterns and like lots of Anne of Green Gables themed stuff on Ravelry, but most of it's cabled or most of it's like based on Marilla's outfits and that kind of thing. So I thought I wanted to do socks instead. So this colorway, which I think is hilarious, it's from Earl. Oh, not in Zoom. Not. Oh, it doesn't want to fit. There we go. Um, it's Earl Grey's The Office calendar from last year, and it's called Someone Making Soup, which I think is. Oh, you haven't seen The Office. Oh gosh, but if you've seen The Office, you'll know why I think it's actual. it's hilarious. I also, my main color is this creamy kind of yellow color um, from, it's called As You Wish from my 2020 Hana Made It <laughs> advent calendar. And then I have my carrots color um, from Wobble Gobble, which is golden leaves that I got for Christmas. From our uncle who Chaley knit the socks for a couple yes. years ago. So we've got all this like Christmas using scraps. It's a color work pattern with um, like a color work band of carrots on the leg and then some kind of little detail on the foot. So I'm working on that right now. I'm really excited. Chaley's like, you're a big nerd. And I'm like, yep. I also have other plans for two other Anne of Green Gables socks called, I think, Plum Pudding and Lake Trout. <laughs> So if you're an Anne of Green Gables nerd like me, you're like, you're hilarious, Gabs. If you're not, you're like, what words is she saying to me? But you knit what you love, right? It, this is our hobby, right? We have full-time jobs. We knit what makes us happy and don't care what our little sisters think. <laughs> okay. Well, now you it's your turn to be judgy of Chaley. Oh, good. Here, okay. Let me get my judgy face on. Acquisitions. I Guess have zero. who has none? You already said it. It's Gabs. Guess who has a ton? This girl. Okay, so we talked about how we love Aunt Jenny makes. So she was having another... Can you want my basket? Yeah. She's having another sale. So I got some of her... I forgot already. I forgot. DK. And I got these two. This, this one is Grape Hyacinth. And then this one is Watermelon Dreams. It's very plush and cozy. So I think I'm going to make socks so that I can have kind of like fuzzy socks because I have like, I can't do cold feet. It's usually really hot around my area, but my feet are always cold. So I think these will be perfect for that. It's cause you're getting old, mom has cold feet too. I dude. know, and then I have this thing that happens to my toes in the winter. This may be TMI, but I'm gonna tell you anyways, it's like my toes expand. <laughs> you have sausage toes. Our mom has sausage my toes, toes too. expand and they get like, it's like all the blood rushes to them to try and warm them. So they look like little Vienna sausages. <laughs> it's very sexy and we call them sausage toes. So I usually have to like put three pairs of socks on and put some lotion on it. Like it's a whole fiasco. And then I don't know what I was doing, but I was like trolling knit. No, I got sold up the river trying to get my niece her, make her black socks because Lottie wanted black socks. I'm like, well, of course, darling. So then I bought myself this yarn as well, which is stroll fingering and it's the Yeti colorway. Is it doing it? I think it's doing, is it still blowing out? Let me put my face in it. You're yes. right, I think. Yes, okay. it's going. The Yeti, and I am super, it's very soft. 
feel. You feel okay. with me. Okay. Yes, I'm very excited about this one. And I just threw in some Felici as well. Felici. Felici. I keep calling Chaley, it Felici. Is your name is not Saley. It's Felici. Is it Felici? Felici. Felici. And I just thought it was cute and rhyming me of the beach. But this is called Game Over. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. Excited about it. Kind of reminds me of an Easter egg. And then... Kay, the crazy sock lady, did a shop update and I had been wanting this colorway for a bit so I got the crazy sock lady colorway from Kimber's Cozy Creations off of her crazy sock lady co website and I got the one with the black mini skein so super excited I love how this color came out and I know shocking because some of you might have known that there was a pink one like they came with the pink mini skein and I opted for the black because I think I really liked the the harder contrast of the black with it speeding through this so that you feel like there's less stuff but there really isn't this is my October inner circle way colorway I think my November one is literally sitting in my mailbox right now so it's a little bit sad but this is the October one. Oh, you can do it what if I what if I go away it might be me. I think it's picking up me. Okay, there we go. If I hold it on my nose, it looks good. Good. This is the October one, and it is called Spooky Forest. It kind of does remind me of icicles, though, so maybe I could do still make it Christmas oh, theme Oh, you know somehow. it would be good for, like, um, Nitty Natty Sockmas. Yes, we are going to do Sockmas with Nitty Natty, but I left all my Christmas yarn at home except for now this icicle-looking one. And then I don't remember buying this. But it was in the basket of things I had purchased since we podcasted last. Who knows? It is a one-of-a-kind colorway from Barnyard Knits. So I think it's actually, it's also kind of Christmassy. Like I'm getting kind of like fireplace vibes from mm -hmm. it. Like look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Big fan. Big fan. Very excited to just maybe like a brown contrast with it. I can even do a pattern out of it. And then... In October, I think maybe it was the day of like how we did a Halloween party, like at the farmer's market in Camarillo, which is in Southern California, they were also having like a yarn and wool festival right next to it. So I got to go with my friend because the yarn over truck was there and I had road crew points and a gift card and I haven't been able to go because she's out of Pasadena and that's pretty far from me. So this was like 20 minutes away and I went to a farmer's market anyways where I bought like a lot of candles and I bought a whole pie that we ate. Um, so I got to get some of these things from the yarn over truck. Both of these are junk yarn. This one just doesn't have the uh, label. And this one, look how fun these are. I'm super excited. This one is Sally. And then this one is Chrissy, which I'm pretty pumped about. So again, just literally nothing other than I liked it, so I bought it. <laughs> that's the approach from Chaley. So that's all I have. The basket is now empty. Except why we're kind of like speedy McGeeing this podcast is yesterday I went shopping with our dad for Black Friday and we went to Joanne's and he it's his fault he found that they were having like 40 percent off of their like character licensed prints so that's like disney marvel different shows and stuff and so we bought like seven different fabrics and i have swindled my sister into making the bags for me today because i am leaving to drive back down to southern california in about four hours so we're gonna do that next. But, but lucky for you, she bought too much extra fabric. So we are doing our very first podcast giveaway for one of the bags that I am going to frantically make today. So the way you enter into our very first podcast giveaway is you need to be subscribed to our YouTube channel. So click the little subscribe button. I think it's like red. And <laughs> I'm a teacher. I always like give the steps <laughs> to my students. And then underneath, uh, comment on this video about something we talked about. Mm -hmm. um, did you wanna run and grab your fabric and I just clip the video? Well, you can just, you know, vamp, just vamp. So we're also very excited to share that Chaley will be doing Vlogmas uh, this year. I did vlog Vlogtober, pardon me, 
Uh, so you can check out our Vlogtober uh, videos as well. So Chaley will be doing Vlogmas. She's done lots of Christmas shopping. She's prepped. She's got her um, Santa. She's back. She ran down my hallway. I've got one of those really long hallways where all the rooms go off of it. So I'm sure she like skidded into the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So fabric number one is avocado Santas and other Christmas themed avocados. Can you hold? Thank you. And then I love Nickelodeon. So that's like all I watched. So I got wild thornberries. Ta-da. And I also love Schitt's Creek. So these are Moira's wigs. Yes. And then Disney. I feel like I'm missing one. No, that's it. Some Disney villains. Very fun. Our dad wants one of these too, so we got a lot of extra on accident. And then this fun stitch one, which is so cute. And we're just gonna do cream on the inside for all of them. For those of you following at home, you're like, wait, Chaley said seven fabrics, but they only showed five. The sixth fabric is cream, and the seventh fabric is a yellow polka dot that she wants for another bag of that she that I'm apparently going to make. Oh, we I already bought the fabric for that, but I don't know where it is. It's like sharks with shaved ice. It's right there. Really. Oh, it's it's right there. It's it, we're in my craft room. So it is this color, which we do not have enough of to make another bag for. So this is one that you won't get to have as part of the giveaway. But comment, tell us if you're a wild Thornberries fan. Chaley and I discovered this morning that we both really wanted to dress like Debbie in <laughs> when we were in elementary school, but our mother did Dressed not let us. Just like Eliza. Yeah. So that's yeah. fine. Um, I started telling them about your plan for Vlogmas. Oh, yes. Tomorrow I will be decorating... Um, so I'll do like a pre vlogmas vlog of like getting Christmas ready because I love Christmas. So that'll be exciting. I think I'm going to make some mousse tomorrow morning with some peppermint on it to make it Christmassy. And yeah, it'll be very exciting because it's just like little old me in my house in my theme. And the theme is Winter Wonderland. So here we go. It's gonna be very exciting. Do you have any other chatter? We kind of transitioned into chatter. Um, the reason that Chaley and I said we will probably not be podcasting uh, December, January, and potentially February. December is iffy. Is I am pregnant. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> so if you see the vlog, well, like when I'm chest up, it's not as obvious. But when you, if you see us vlog or something like that, you're like, oh, I see why she's not committing. We're so we're not committing to December, January, February. It may happen. It may not. I am due January 11th with another baby girl. I have a daughter. She is 23 months. She's almost two. So be two on December 16th. So she was also due January 11th. But came December 16th. So anything could happen. So it is a, Chaley may do a baby watch um, chunk of Vlogmas if I remember to take pictures of myself. But those of you birthing parents know it gets kind of dicey towards the end and you just roll with it. That's also why she's in charge of Vlogmas because I'm like, I am completely unreliable. Also, you don't like Christmas. Oh, no, not really. <laughs> I do things. I buy people presents. You do. You I have a tree. Cookies. I have a tree, but I bought her the tree. I just that's the extent of my tree. Yep. But it's fine that other yeah. people. I love Halloween. Like, yeah, I, that and Chaley's that's why she did fine. Vlogtober. Chaley's like Halloween's cool, right, but cool. nothing. So that's why we are not committing to December, January, February. It might happen. It might not. You can if you want to follow along and figure out what's going on. We're most active on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. If all of a sudden all of the posts sound like it's Chaley talking and not me, you'll know because why. She's, she's busy. Doing stuff. She's busy. You know. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I think that's it. If we don't do another podcast, we'll, find, we'll comment on your YouTube yeah. comment that you won. So that you can find out then if you won the giveaway. You'll, you'll find out. We're, we're on it. We're yeah. on it. In summation, we got it. Yeah. But thank you so much for watching. Bye.